It looks like we have a privacy or plugins choice to make with ChatGPT+. If you saw my last video, you know that I turned on web browsing and plugins but couldn't access them. I figured out why, and here's the full setup. Log into your ChatGPT Plus account. Click on the three dots next to your email address. Click Settings. Click Beta Features. Toggle on Web Browsing and Plugins. Now, if that's all you do, when you hover over GPT-4, you'll just see a message about it. To turn on Web Browsing and Plugins, you have to also enable Chat History. Now, when you hover over it, you'll see the Browsing and Plugins options. You can only turn on one or the other, not both. For Plugins, let's turn that on and go to No Plugins Enabled and then the Plugins Store. Now, the first time you do this, you're going to see a message that they'll be sending out parts of your input and more info about you and your location to these plugins. And that's likely why you had to turn off Prophecy first. Click OK on that message. And here's how to turn your chat history back off. Close that. Go down to the three dots by your email, Settings, Data Controls. And here you can turn off chat history and training. So for now, it looks like you have to make a choice between privacy and your ability to access the internet and plugins. Just be super careful what you share with these things on. Stay tuned to AI Discover Hub for more tips as I dive into what we can do with these new features.